I'm Chris and today we're going to take apart this projection TV to get at the Fresnel lens inside to make a solar death ray. Let's do this real quick. Start by removing every screw on the back of the TV. There may also be a few more screws hiding in the front. Once I remove the screws on the back, I could access the inside. After removing all the screws for the front, it should come off relatively easy. If anything, get a friend to help you. This is actually a mirror used to project the image up onto the screen. We'll save this for a future project. Not quite sure what yet. There's also the projection lenses down here that we're going to harvest. Once you get all the screws out, simply lift it up. Don't forget to remove all the screws that were holding these projectors in place. I'm going to save these and crack them open and see what we can do with them. It looks like these plastic lenses just pop right out. I'm also going to remove the speakers and save those. I'll keep all the circuit boards in here, save the capacitors, whatever little transformers there are. Um, there's a ton of parts in there, it doesn't really take much space to hold on to. There's some pretty big heat sinks in there you can reuse. Well, my best guess that the glass I saw inside there is just part of the, uh, I'm assuming a cathode ray tube. Um, obviously there's three of them. But I'm still going to hang on to these. Like I said, there's some copper in here I might be able to use. Um, some tubes or something in there that who knows who knows what you could use that for on this projection TV I was lucky enough to have wheels and some sort of a screen on the bottom that's definitely gonna come in handy even the particle board that it's on will come in handy like I said I'm gonna strip everything off of here and take as much as I can well it looks like the only way to get inside this lens is to use a rotary tool to open it up What I did on either side was just cut a slot straight up so you can rotate this and pop it right out. Now we want to get inside here. You have to be a little more careful doing this because I do not want to damage the lenses. And it looks like I might be able to just pinch these clips and take it right apart. A pair of needle nose would have been better, but this was handy. Well, looks like we have three lenses in there. This one feels to be plastic. This one also feels to be a heavier plastic, but plastic just the same. We may be able to do something with that. And this one, this is definitely heavy, and it's glass, that's for sure. I'm not sure what we can do with that yet. To gain access to the Fresnel lens itself, there's going to be a lot of screws around the frame. Simply remove those screws. After you remove all the screws for the framework, simply take it out. Now the lens should pop out. It is very flexible, so be careful. Now you can't use the lens as is. You have to peel the tape or whatever holding it, whatever is holding it together off. And then inside there, there could be two to three lenses. Um, they're not all for now lenses. After you remove all the tape, come right apart and this is the piece we're looking for the other two pieces you can keep for other projects it's actually a piece of plexiglass and something else this is the Fresnel lens we're after it's gonna be smooth on one side and a little rigid on the other side take note that not all Fresnel lenses are the same for some the focal point is a nice dot and others the focal point is a line the one with the dot starts stuff right on fire the one with the line not so much See how this focal point goes into a nice small circle and then instantly catches on fire? With this one you can see the focal point is more of a line. And all it's going to do is smoke. 
anytime you take on a project like this, use common sense, use caution to avoid serious risk and injury. This is dangerous. It will hurt you. It will burn you. Use caution. Be safe.